This week, we are gonna work on some bolts. Uh, we're gonna do kind of a, a low, wide, open bowl, and then something a little deeper, and then kind of a closed form bowl. So I've got uh, three two pound pieces wedged up. Uh, we'll speed through the centering and stuff like that, and then talk about each step with each one. So our first one here, this is going to be kind of a low, wide, open bowl, all right? Think like soup or pasta, something like that. So I've centered it out about the width of my hand, and I'm going to hold here, and come in like this, and open at a diagonal, keeping in mind that I want to leave a lot of clay down at the bottom because these will have trimmed feet on them. So I'm going to come down to maybe three quarters of an inch here, maybe half an inch, and then come up and out. So from the very beginning, this should be like a, you know, like a spherical indentation. open that up a little wider just watch to not develop a groove right here so I'm gonna come over here push down and in and I'm gonna draw that clay up and out and every time that I get to the rim I'm gonna compress that and thicken it back up Do that again, push down and in, and then pull up and out. There's two. As I get towards the end of throwing here, I'm really gonna ignore the rim, okay? I want this to be nice and fat, nice and strong. Also, when we go to lay this out, this will automatically be thinned, and that's another reason to keep it thick at this point. Let's see where we're at. Right now, I'm gonna bow seven. I'm going to give it one more pull. Ultimately, I want to lay these out to about eight and a half inches. So we can actually kind of demonstrate two different types of bowls on this one. Uh, let me get my hands cleaned up here. So we could stop right here. Uh, all these throwing grooves in here, we want to take all that out. I'm going to wet the outside of the bowl a little bit and support from out here. I'm going to take a rib like this, come in on the right of center, and come right to the middle like that, push up through that bottom transition, and now kind of throw with the rib a little bit to pull out those grooves at the top. And that right there is a perfectly good bowl. Nice and simple. This is kind of a kitchen workhouse bowl. Uh, from here, we could also take it in another direction. 
So I'm gonna lay the rim of this out and make a transition where the rim will kind of frame whatever it is you're serving. So to do this, I'm going to set my index finger at the point where I want that transition to go, or like where that, I want that transition to start. So I'm about right here. And I will start here. And now I'm gonna slowly lean out. So if I'm always starting with two pounds and I'm always bringing them out to eight inches, uh, it doesn't matter what day I'm making these on, they're always gonna stack. So there's eight and a half right there. We got it. Let's dial this in a little bit. Let's start right here at that transition, give a little bit more volume to the bowl, come down and in. Support underneath with my left hand. Articulate that edge. That'll be nice for a glaze break. And then this can lean out. And this rim is still nice and fat, which is good. You want to think about these things stacking on each other, um, you know, being turned up sideways in the dishwasher getting banged around with silverware. So the last thing I'm thinking about, you know, the life that this bowl may have, I want it to be very strong. So I'm compressing this rim, kind of rounding this edge. Sharp edges are gonna chip. Soften that. And then we can clean this up. Um, I will do another video with some more bowls like this, showing different ways to alter them, to decorate the rim. Uh, but for now, for throwing, this is great. So the last thing is down here at the bottom, I'm gonna just run a groove down in the thickness of that foot, pull out just a little clay, and that groove is to make sure my wire has a place to slide under. And because I'm gonna end up altering these, I'm not gonna cut them yet, I'm gonna just leave them out, let that rim gain some strength, um, and after I've altered it, then I'll cut it. Next one, we'll kind of speed through this first part. This is going to be kind of a straight walled bowl which comes down in the middle. So we'll get started here and then we'll probably change the angle of the camera to show you more of a profile view of this, but this is how it begins. Similar to the last one, we're gonna go down at an angle. Make sure you're leaving enough clay there because that trimmed foot is what really pops these shapes off the table. So from the very beginning, I want to articulate this curve. And we are using up a lot of clay just down in the foot. That's okay. So make sure that's good and centered. Kind of push down here, turn that up, and I'm going to transition this. So now it's more like I'm throwing a cylinder on top of a curved base. You know, I can dig down in here, and then at that transition point, I will come up, compress the rim. We'll switch the angle now to give you a better sense of this. All right, so you can get a better sense of what we're doing here. 
this is mimicking that curve on the inside here and then at the peak of that curve this begins so I don't want to take too much here uh, we will trim that deeper but I think we need this support right now but I can dig in right here kind of come up and out a little and then from this transition here and dig into that and bring it up. Right. So even though this is a really sharp angle here on the inside, that's still a very nice curve. Uh, I'm going to compress the inside bottom of this. I'm going to use from here. This will be here down to the middle. I'm going to support that. So this is the high point on the inside and then it fades down to the middle. And then out here Slick this up. And for this kind of shape, I want to put just a little bit of a bevel on the inside. Come back and soften this. down at the bottom and dig into that so with these bowls the reason I'm you know they're they're gonna stack differently than that open bowl and they're not gonna sit foot to inside they're gonna go hip to rim so it'll kind of stack up like a column that is partially why I'm putting this soft bevel here because I want this angle to reflect this angle right here. So same thing on this one. Um, I'm not gonna cut this off yet because I will come back and kind of texture and alter it a little bit. Get that cleaned up and on to the next. So again, we're going to open this at an angle. The inside curve should always be reflected by the outside shape. I'm going to leave that thick enough to trim a foot, come up and out. So this one is going to be a constant curve all the way up. Dig my thumb in there, turn this up. Up. Get some more clay down here. Come up, compress the rim. So I'm getting all the weight out of it in this kind of shape. And then once I know all the, the thickness is pulled out of here, I'll wet it down. Now I'm going to give it quite a bit of volume. So I'll start here. And now I'm pushing from the inside, kind of receiving that pressure from the outside. Let 
Now we'll send that curve a little lower. And I think the rest of that I'll do with a rib. So this now, I do want to come in, kind of kick out here. And same as the last one, these will nest kind of from here to here. The hip will sit on the rim. So I'm gonna support like this. Bevel this edge, let that roll in and fade. Smooth that out. Now I'll shape the inside. Brace here. Compress the bottom and kind of fade pressure as you come up and out. And you don't want any interruptions on the inside. flexible than those rubber ones. And let's see. Start in here. Come from the top out to the peak here. And then from the bottom up to the peak here. cinches in. I want to like accentuate that. So from the top, come down like this. It's almost like a little belt or something. So we'll get that groove. I'm going to give it a little wiggle. And then we'll come up at the corner of that rib. And do another. And give that a little wiggle. There we go. So with this one as well, um, we'll clean this up and wait for this to firm up a little bit and then I'll come back and do some, some minor alterations to this. I will come in now and kind of peel this down to there, turn that, get that groove going. And the foot won't be too much smaller than that but there's definitely clay to remove there as well. So that is three variations on a bowl. Uh, the next video will be altering bowls and then we'll do trimming after that. So thanks for watching y'all.